and you check these uh, like their comments or the yeah. uh, yeah, assalam alaikum guys. guys i am zahid i am ali mani gayam pakta din sa i mean challenge sa youtube fun and talk neon coming a reaction sasang video mulasa filthy sundamo kamis sa instagram and facebook page Please nice follow us on Instagram and Facebook page. And before we start our reaction, make sure you turn that thumbs thing down there too, which means hit the like button and hit the subscribe button, and then the non notification bell. Today we are reacting a video. This video is from Full Pay, and this video is about a gold, yeah, a mystery thing. And we want to know, Zaid, can you tell the title? Yeah, of course. The title of this video is Marcos Gold. The richest country in the world. Yes, and let's start. Let's start reaction. reaction. Welcome so to we going Quibble start. TV. Yeah. If you're new to this channel, please subscribe and hit the notification bell. Thank and subscribe you. this channel and like this video. The list of original countries that video hold the link most in gold in their yeah. hands has remained mostly unchanged over the last few the years. Desert. Flip through this wow. slideshow to discover which central banks uh, value know. the yellow Beats. metal the most. 11 countries. Eleven. Yeah, 11. 612.5 tons. Netherlands. The Dutch oh, no bank announced that it will be moving its gold vaults from gold. Amsterdam to Camp New Amsterdam, a lot of gold. outside the city, yeah. citing burden and some security measures of its current location. And As many others have pointed gold. out, this seems odd, given that the bank Amazing. fairly recently repatriated a large amount of its gold from the United States. Number 10. India. Oh, India. Number yeah, 10. India have a lot of temples and these things. It's no because surprise that the Bank of India Maybe? has one of the largest you stores of gold in the world. The South Asian country, home to 1.25 billion people, is the second largest consumer of the precious wow. metal, and is one of the largest. most reliable drivers of global demand. India's festival yeah. and wedding season, which runs from October to December, has historically been a huge boon to gold's December. love trade. Oh. Number 9. Japan. Japan. 765.2 wow. tons. Japan, Japan, the world's uh, third largest economy, yeah. is also the largest gold? order of yeah. the yellow metal. Its yeah. central Japan bank has been one of the most aggressive country, practitioners of quantitative easing. Less, in January 2016, uh, it lowered interest rates below zero, which has helped fuel demand for gold around the world. Number 8. Swiss Switzerland. Yeah. 1040.0 tons. In eighth place is Switzerland, yeah. which actually has the world's largest reserves of gold tons. per capita. During World War II, the neutral country became the center of the gold trade Whoa. in Europe, making transactions with both the Allies and Axis powers. Today, much of its gold trading is done with Hong Kong Hong and Kong China. China. Number 7. China! China. The People's Bank of China wow. began sharing its gold purchasing activity on a monthly I'm basis shocked. for the first yeah, time really since shocked. 2009. Yeah. Although China comes Is in seventh for most gold uh, health, the yellow metal yeah. accounts for only a small percentage of its overall reserves, a mere 2.8%, the lowest of the top of 10 temples, central banks with the most like gold. The temples, China has actually been on a gold buy buying spree gold? since December 2018, buying almost 100 tons from then through August. Number 6. Russia. Russia. 2219.2 uh, sure tons. Russia the Russian Central make, Bank uh, has been the largest buyer of gold for the past seven years and overtook and China in 2018 to have because the sixth largest reserves. In 2017 weapons. Russia bought 224 tons oh. of bullion in an effort to diversify away from the US dollar, as its relationship with the West has grown chilly since the annexation of the Crimean Peninsula in mid 2000 to raise the cash for these purchases, Russia sold a huge percentage of its U.S. treasuries. Number 5. France. France. 2,436.1 oh, tons. More gold. France's central Already? bank has sold little of its gold over the past several years, and there are calls to halt it altogether. Marine Le Pen, president of the country's far-right National Front Party led the charge not only to put a freeze on selling the nation's gold but also to repatriate the entire amount from foreign vaults. Number 4. Italy. Italy. 
Italy has likewise maintained the size of its reserves over the years, and it has support from the European Central Bank, ECB, President Mario Draghi, the former bank of Italy governor. When asked by a reporter in 2013 what role gold plays in a central bank's portfolio, answered that the metal was a reserve of safety, adding, it gives you a fairly good protection against fluctuations against the dollar. Number 3. Germany. Germany. Wow. 3,366.8 tons. In 2017 Germany completed a four-year repatriation operation to move a total of 674 tons of gold from the Bank de France and the Federal Reserve Bank of New York back to its own vaults. First announced in 2013, the move was expected to take until 2020 to complete. Although gold demand fell in 2017 after hitting an all-time high in 2016, this European country has seen gold investing yeah, steadily investing rise since the global financial crisis. Number 2. United, United States. 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 Wow. 8,133 yeah. tons. Most, with I the second largest well, official holdings in the world, the U.S. Yeah. lays claim to nearly as and much gold as the next yeah. three countries combined. Too much it gold. also has the second highest gold allocation as a percentage of its foreign reserves at 76%. Wow. From what no, we know, no, the majority of the U.S. Board. gold yeah. is held at Fort Knox so. in Kentucky, with the remainder yeah, held at the Philadelphia Mint, Denver Mint, uh, San Francisco SA office yeah. and the West Point Bullion Depository. Number 1. Wow. Philippines. Over a million tons. Million wow. ton. million ton. They wow. are really? on top of the world today. How the million tons? There's a two a secret account much gold. Much gold. Has gold. More gold than anybody knows about. So that's gold is a hidden order. It's over a million metric tons of gold. What? So a million metric tons of gold is not something you can just. What? What? So where's the gold? 400,000 metric tons are in the central bank of the Philippines. What? And the what is a question mark? What? Yeah. There's over 200,000 metric tons in the Union Bank of Switzerland, and some of that gold is buried securely in the Philippines as well. What? <laughs> been a lot of gold. Some of it is held in various banks, Why but the we just bulk can't of it is the in the Philippines. <laughs> so the World Bank holds a note on that gold? No. It is in a special trust account that was set up by Ferdinand Marcos. Oh my God! Oh my God! Oh my God! <laughs> the president. The Philippines is the richest country in the world. Even President Ronald Reagan knows and said this. <laughs> what? Did you know about Marcos Gold? Marcos Gold. The title of this Marcos video is Gold. Marcos Gold. There's a mystery of uh, pain. Yeah. Clear debt. In 1930, Europe was in a depression and Germany was financially yeah. bankrupt. An unknown party leader promised the German people oh, that he could Hitler. create jobs and boost its economy. The Germans dared him and put him in power. His name is Adolf Hitler. In June 1933, the Vatican and Hitler, a Roman Catholic, signed the Concordat for Mutual Protection and Enhancement. Shortly after that, Hitler was loaded with money. He built a massive army and manufactured weapons for war. Then Hitler took Poland. Before 1918, There's there was no Poland. One, that land was part of two, Germany and used as a buffer zone to separate Germany from Russia. But when Hitler reclaimed it, England declared war on Germany. Throughout the Spanish occupation of the Philippines, members of the Tajin, Talano clan have been visiting Europe since some of their relatives were English and Austrian. From 1866 to 1898, Prince Julian MacLeod Talano had also been frequenting the Vatican. In 1934, under Pope Pius XII, Pope Pius the Vatican Pius negotiated with a member of the Filipino royal family, the Christian Talano clan in Philippines. An agreement was reached that 640,000 metric tons of the Talano gold would be lent to the Pope. This was part of that gold accumulated by the Southeast Asian Empire during its glorious reign of 900 years. In 1939, two members of the Talano family and a Roman Catholic priest, 
Father Jose Antonio Diaz, brought the gold from Cota Kinabalba, Salva, to the Vatican. After doing this, Father Diaz went back to the Philippines and resided in Gubanichan City. After World War II, he facilitated the safe return of the 640,000 metric tons of gold from the Vatican to the Philippines. A lease agreement was made between the Talano clan and the Philippines government. A total of 617,500 metric tons of gold was deposited in the newly installed Central Bank of the Philippines to comply with its requirement for gold reserve. Yeah. Under the terms of the contract, the Central Bank became the holder of that gold. That lease agreement will expire in the year 2005. Having gained the trust and confidence of Father Diaz, the Talano clan made him the main negotiator and trustee of their gold. Father Diaz, in turn, hired the services of attorney Ferdinand and Andy Marcos, then a highly recommended brilliant young Marcos, lawyer having attained notoriety when he successfully defended I himself in a Nalanis case in 1939. The Talano clan paid commission to Father Diaz and attorney Marcos in gold, 30% from the principal of 640,000 metric tons. In 1949, no, the two 49. richest men in the richest world man. were Father Jose Antonio Diaz and attorney Ferdinand and D. Marcos. Between the two of them they legitimately earned and owned 192,000 metric tons of gold. Ferdinand and Marcos withdrew their share of the gold from the central bank and minted it. Sometime later, Father Diaz and Marcos brought their gold to Switzerland, in the Swiss Bank Corporation in Zurich. Uh. The remaining 400,000 metric tons of Talano yeah. gold is in the so third floor basement of the Central Bank minting on. plant in East Avenue, Kazan City, Philippines. There are 950,000 metric tons of gold, declared missing in the International Court of Justice, picked up by Yamashita from its European ally, Hitler. Another 250,000 tons of the Japanese loot around Southeast Asia are both now Southeast in the Philippines. Asia. This country then became the holder of 1.6 million metric tons of gold bars. Some of the Yamashita gold buried in the Philippines has been found. But the bulk of it is still buried to this day. And even now, thousands are secretly digging for it, including Japanese treasure hunters. The World Street Journal in its November 15, 1985 issue wrote that two-thirds of all gold in the world is in the Philippines. One third is divided among the rest of the countries in the world. Very few Filipinos know this. In the 70s and 80s, blood money from the Roman Catholic Church, channeled into the Philippines via the Vatican Bank and another foreign power, fueled the flames of dissension in the countryside and on the streets of Manila. A concerted church and foreign civil destabilization. Demolition campaign was waged against Marcos. All that gold in the hands of one man like Marcos was a threat to those who have been used for so long with so much money and power. Marcos became too powerful and would not toe the line of the two established power in the world, the Vatican and the Trilateral Commission, USA Germany, Japan. But Marcos was no lapdog to any foreign power. In his grand plan, Marcos wanted to re-establish the former grandeur of the Philippines and the whole region of Southeast wow. Asia the former Malayan Empire. In June 1983, Marcos appeared before the first world leaders in Toronto. He announced his plan to boost the economy of the Southeast Asian region by creating the Asian dollar. This would be backed up by the 400,000 metric tons of gold in the Central Bank of the Philippines and the other gold he scattered around the region. He would also add to this his own personal 192,000 metric tons in Switzerland. This Asian dollar, backed up by the two-thirds of all the gold in the world that was in the Philippines, would have made the Philippines' money more valuable and stronger than the American dollar. Wow. This was his vision to raise Southeast Asia to be at par with the rest of the first world countries. When Father Jose Antonio Diaz, alias Severino Sandy Romana, died in 1974 all that 30% commission in gold became legendary Marcos Gold. Wow. After providing for his family in Marcos' letter of instruction, the whole wealth derived from this was supposed to be given to the Filipino people. This was the Marcos wealth that some politicians and churchmen kept on saying was the ill-gotten Marcos wealth that until today is in Marcos' secret accounts. Secret accounts. Here. Ah. 
Just to show you the bill of lading, how much is two hundred forty million dollars? Oh my goodness! Is it million? Billion? 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 Two hundred forty billion? Two hundred forty billion dollars? Billion? Only one ship. It's for nine hundred and eighty-seven. Billion dollars. Belgium bank. Oh my God! Can we show the oh God! Oh God! Oh God! Oh God! Oh God! You are, you are rich beyond compare. <laughs> no, this, this, this will save the world. GM the world. News. So, Mrs. Marcos, are you saying you're open news. to giving some or a, 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 an amount of this one to the country, to the Filipinos? Well, not, not only the Filipinos, but the world. On April 9th, 1973, Marco said, yeah, for the My Filipino earthly peoples. goods have been placed in the custody and for the disposition of the Marcos Foundation dedicated to the welfare of the Filipino people. All men don't equal <laughs> died in the there's a good during a talk show in the US TV, the week following the bombing of the New York Twin Towers, President, President George, George Bush, Bush was asked this question, USA which President. is the richest country in the world today. With a smile he said, the Philippines. Philippines. Is it real? You decide. Leave a comment uh, down below. Yeah, yeah you decide. You Thanks for watching. Yeah, I the hope video guys it is. And Marcos Gold is question mark. Yes, and the video is really amazing. Yeah. We see a lot of countries, yeah. uh, 11 countries, and Philippines is our richest, richest country, country in the world. In the world. That's crazy. What yeah. you say, guys? Yeah, I, I am shocked to see yeah. this video. And the Philippines is a lot of gold yeah a lot of gold at tons ton yeah. million ton and 980 something yeah. billion, billion dollar deposit yeah whoa that's too crazy yeah. and if they're real so where they now is yeah. gold and where is the money yeah why they don't use on filipino yeah, people filipino. and in the filipino countries yeah that's the question mark for you guys and tell me in comments what you think in guys of this video yeah. you think this is already true or not tell in comments and hope so you enjoy our video and our reaction tell in comments what is your thought and what is your opinion about our videos and our reaction tell in comments tell in comments and you guys also tell in comments what you want to react in next video yeah. and this video is recommended by these guys yeah. and you check this uh, like the comments our, yeah. uh, the amazing community and share our videos more to more and we make more videos for you guys hope so you enjoy our video and let me meet in next video alafis alafis peace, peace.